George once more took to the internet sharing with us his thoughts on the end of the show Game of Thrones and also how much of the ending of Game of Thrones will be similar to his own series A Song of Ice and Fire. And you might be interested to know if you're still waiting on the books or if you're new to waiting on the books because you didn't like the final season that George did give us a timeline and a date for when he's going to be done with The Winds of Winter. Overall, George seems very positive about the ending season of Game of Thrones and has been praising D&D for their work. However, and this is according to George, he has said a few things now and then that have caused HBO to give him a stern talking to. So, George has five projects in the work with HBO, so I don't know how much of it is I'm going to keep being positive because I want to work with you guys and I want to make sure my projects get done and how much of it is, yeah, you guys did a great job. Totally. However, I'm going to assume because I'm going to be optimistic that George was actually happy with the last season of Game of Thrones and how everything panned out. So on the final season of Game of Thrones, George wrote, We had some amazing people working on this show, as all those Emmys bear witness. David and Dan assembled a championship team. The directors were incredible as well. I should start naming names, but then I'd miss someone. There were so many. But I do need to mention David Benioff, Dan Weiss, Brian Cogman, the third head of the dragon, as I said in the recent Vanity Fair piece about him, and of course the great team at HBO headed by Richard Plepler. Any other network in Game of Thrones would have not been what it became. Most other networks, this series never gets made at all. I could go on and on, and have, as I've been writing this post in my head, but there's really too much to say. Parting is such sweet sorrow, the bard wrote. In the weeks and months to come, I may post about some of my favorite moments from the making of the show. Now and again, when I'm feeling nostalgic. But just know there are so many memories and no time to do them all justice. Let me say this. Last night was an ending, but it was also a beginning. I suspect that you have not seen The Last of Westeros on your television sets either. But I guess that all depends on how some of these successor shows turn out. So George thought the ending of Game of Thrones was amazing. That's straight from his mouth, fingers, head, whatever. But George also gave us an update on the Winds of Winter and when we can expect it. And not surprisingly, he said the same thing he's been saying for a while. I'm still working on it. So he wrote, And I'm writing. Winter is coming, I told you, long ago. And so it is. The winds of winter is very late. I know, I know. But it will be done. I won't say when. I've tried that before, only to burn you all and jinx myself. But I will finish it. And then will come a dream of spring. So his statement, I won't tell you when I've tried that before, is interesting because there's a new quote of what George said to New Zealand. As for finishing my book, I fear that New Zealand would distract me entirely too much. Best leave me here in Westeros for the nonce. But I tell you this, if I don't have the winds of winter in hand when I arrive in New Zealand for Worldcon, you have here my formal written permission to imprison me in a small cabin on the White Island overlooking that lake of sulfuric acid until I'm done. Just so long as the acid fumes do not screw up my old DOS word processor, I'll be fine. So just in case you're wondering when Worldcon is, it is in July 2020. So, George, you got about 14 months to finish Winds of Winter. If you're that confident, you better not be fucking with us. So, I don't know. Maybe he is so close that he feels in a little over a year he'll be done with Winds of Winter. That was an awfully confident statement, and George has seemed a bit more happy of late. That dude is trying so hard to finish this series, but at the same time, he's working on a million different projects. Besides the five projects with HBO, he has other ones going on too. I, I don't know how he's multitasking that along with ending his series. To me, that, that seems impossible, but that's my personality type, so hopefully he has it all under wraps 
But I feel like without the show breathing down his neck, he's going to do a lot better with writing. We know, and, and those of us that have followed George for a few decades, not aging any of us, know that George doesn't do well with deadlines. So I feel like with the show done and him not trying to keep pace with it, he, he's going to do a lot better. Also, I think the level of dissatisfaction certain people had with the final season will help George quite a bit. I feel like people are going to be waiting anxiously for the ending of his series to see how he does it, even if it's the same end to make more sense of it or to pace it better. I know for many years on this channel, people wrote all the time, oh, we don't need George anymore, fuck George, we have the show, the show is gonna give us an ending, so I don't need him anymore, and now we see the intense backlash from the final season and the one before, and I have to think George is laughing maniacally, like, <laughs> now you do need me. So well played, George. You have us right where you want us. You sneaky badger, you. Lastly, he spoke about whether the ending for the show is going to be similar to the ending for the books, and he said the same thing he's been saying for years. Yes and no. The major beats are going to be the same, the minor beats, not so much, and a lot of it is the journey is going to be different than the end conclusions. And I've actually talked in quite a few videos, his interviews about what he said on the ending of the show versus his books, which hopefully I've linked them now for you to click on in the upper right hand corner, but you never know with me because I'm also a sneaky badger. And by sneaky badger, I mean, I'm very absent-minded. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. But here's what George said yesterday on the show ending versus the book ending. So he wrote, How will it end? I hear people asking. The same ending as the show? Different? Well, yes. And no. And yes. And no. And yes. And no. And yes. I am working in a very different medium than David and Dan, never forget. They had eight hours for this final season. I expect these last two books of mine will fill 3,000 manuscript pages between them before I'm done. And if more pages and chapters and scenes are needed, I'll add them. And of course, the butterfly effect will be at work as well. Those of you that follow this not a blog will know that I've been talking about that since season one. There are characters that never made it onto the screen at all, and others who died in the show but still live in the books. So if nothing else, the readers will learn what happened to Jane Poole, Lady Stoneheart, Penny and her pig, Shave Pate, Ariana Martell, Darkstar, Victorian Greyjoy, Sir Garland the Gallant, Aegon the Six, and all the other characters, both great and small, that viewers of the show never had the chance to meet. And yes, there will be unicorns. Of a sort. Book or show, which will be the real ending? It's a silly question. How many children did Scarlett O'Hara have? How about this? I'll write it. You read it. Then everyone can make up their own mind and argue about it on the internet. So the journey is going to be different, but the end destination is going to be the same. And I feel like George has been very upfront about that. And don't we say all the time that it's the journey, not the destination? Isn't that the most cliche saying that we have on plaques and, and and magnets and all that shit. So again, and I know I'm kind of just rehashing this point, if you're upset that John killed Danny or John lived out the rest of his life beyond the wall with the wildlings, know that it's going to make more sense to you in the books and that George is going to flesh it out a lot more. And also, if you're happy with the show and how everything ended, that that's okay too, and it it resonated with you, and, and it's completely all right. I, I say this a lot, you do you, figuratively and literally. Don't worry, it's completely healthy. The only thing I will end this video with saying is, I feel like based on the show and how they rush certain things, regardless of your opinion, Hopefully people are more understanding of George taking his time to wrap up 
all these characters and storylines and they understand that rushing it is not a good idea. So let's sit back, relax, enjoy our lives, and eventually we will get the book ending of A Song of Ice and Fire in 30 or so years. Give or take a few decades. Probably give.